Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and in today's video, I'm going to be going over ways you guys could be making coins during Team of the Year. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe. Um, yeah, leave a like on the video if you do enjoy. Twitter, Twitch, and Discord will be down below. Um, I've been streaming on Twitch a lot, trying to do a lot more streams. Uh, so yeah, let's just get right into the video. Starting off by checking some player prices because... A lot has changed, right? Prices have gone down, the weekend league sell off. Um, we haven't got a loading screen, which is very annoying. And these cards are kind of just chilling around the same price. Varan's still like 110 to 120. Uh, he kind of just fluctuates throughout the day. He's 117 right now. Um, I kind of get a gauge on how these guys are doing by like Mbappe, Neymar, and Ronaldo. Uh, these guys always kind of tend to do the same thing. And by getting a look at one of them, you can basically see how the market's doing right. Mbappe is up a, like at, what, what is it? 660 uh, is his lowest. So he's kind of been chilling around 650 to 665. So that's kind of the same thing. Neymar did drop a ton. Neymar is like five. I think I saw him lowest at like 510 today, right? So he's, he's pretty low. Um... And this is without getting a confirmed day that Team of the Year is starting. EA hasn't tweeted out anything about that. There's no loading screen. This is just pure panic and weekend league sell off right now. Uh, if we go look at Ronaldo, same thing happening with him. Um, where is he? Ronaldo, he's cheap too. So we can kind of judge what's happening, right? Everyone's selling and they kind of just have coins liquid. Not really sure what to do playing with untradeable players. Um, I did want to go over to Footbin. If we refresh the popular page, just to kind of look at what's on here, um, kind of some investments, right? So, Neymar, Mbappe, Varane, these kind of cards, Neymar. I kind of want to look at graphs, right? So, at the beginning of this week in league, Neymar was 560 after awards. And I think... Um, Rewards Day and Friday were his two most valuable days. Then after that, people kind of just panicked, right? So now he's down at 510. I do think he could potentially hit 500 soon. Um, maybe even lower. We're just going to have to wait and see on that. Same thing with Mbappe. I do see him going down. He was like 712. Now he's dropped like 50K, which is an insane drop for a player like Mbappe and Neymar. Varane's dropped a ton um, And the thing is I don't know how much lower these guys can go Varane can go I, I could I could see Varane getting close to 100k um, But Neymar and Mbappe. I'm not sure how low these guys can get same with Ronaldo um, And if they are out of packs during team of the year They won't be packable people will get coins from team of the year and want to go buy their gold version because what's gonna happen is um, another thing, Neymar doesn't have any special cards, but let's take Foot Birthday Mbappe, right? Or not Foot Birthday, Record Breaker Mbappe, right? He's 1.8. This is getting panic sold because he's going to get a, he's probably going to get a team of the year, right? He could get a team of the year. And if he does, and his team of the year is like 5 million coins or 6 million coins, this card is going to be bought back up because... It's way undervalued. His team of the year, no one has that many coins to go buy a team of the year Mbappe, right? So what are they going to do? Buy this card back because his team of the year is way too expensive. Um, and people still have enough coins for this one. So team of the years that have a special card out are very, very good to look at, right? If we look at this Ronaldo, he is 2.6, 3.2 on PS. If Team of the Year Ronaldo is anywhere close to that, this card's going to drop. If he's not, it's going to go up, right? If we see it right here, if it's close to 2.5, which close, I mean, like, there's no way Ronaldo's under, like, 6 mil, right? So, he'll be 6, 7, 8 million coins. And depending on what his cost is, he's either going to go up or down. And if we take a look at, I wanted to take a look at Ramos. I don't know where he is. If he's even on the popular page. 
But if we go look at Ramos, his inform, I think is very interesting to look at, right? It's 155. It was 170. Now it's at 155. If you see this at like 135 to 140, that might be a pickup because his team of the year is going to be over a mil. And this is honestly a very good center back. And pairing with Varane, um, people are going to want to buy this card back. So that's something I'm going to look at because he did spike a little bit um, last Friday, last Thursday. Then he went back down. He crashed a little bit. I think if we do go look at this card, I kind of want to monitor him because he he could go up a ton like i could see this ramos uh where is he i could see this ramos going back to like 170 to 180 just because people think his team of the year um is way too expensive right so right now he's looking to be at like 155 uh cheapest 149 right so i could honestly see this card being sold at like 160 i'm actually gonna buy that 149 i'll take it uh, I could probably sell this, and he has a shadow, so I will actually just sell that at like 162, something like that. Um, but I do think that card could actually go up. 149 is a decent price for me, right? The cheapest one on the market's 156. A lazy will definitely buy that. Um, so you guys can kind of just be looking at these players. Uh, another player that I wanted to look at is uh, Van Dyke. And where is he? Virgil van Dyke. What card? Is, he has a... Uh, oh, what card does he have? Does he have a special card this year? I swear he does. I swear he has like a record breaker, right? Uh, van Dyke. If we look at his card, yeah. Record breaker. This card is a Mel. Probably going to go below a mil, right? He was 1.1, 1.2. He's probably going to go below a mil. Uh, depending on how much he drops, you can monitor that card because his team of the year is probably going to be anywhere from 2 mil to 3 mil. Um, maybe even goes above 3 mil. But the reason this card is so high is because he's not playing, right? So he's not going to get any other informs, any special cards. That's the reason that card's so high. That's the reason his team of the year is going to be very high is because that's the best possible Van Dyke um, there is. I mean, he could get a team of the season, but he is injured. Um, and yeah, that's kind of what I wanted to talk about. Also, another thing is you guys should look um, in the first couple of hours on Friday when team of the year, whenever team of the year comes out. I feel like players are going to be extremely cheap and I'm talking about players like maybe not Rashford but I think this player is just gonna get killed right he is what 60k I think he's gonna get killed but will rebound super fast these meta players Rashford's Varane's um, these players are going to rebound the fastest because people want them in their team and if these cards drop like if this card drops to like 100k or below 100k and you buy it i think in the nighttime um after everything's open after all the lightning rounds i think they will rebound super fast because we're gonna get a flooding on the market uh with packs players and coins so i think i'm gonna look at in the first couple of hours just trying to snipe these meta players mbappe neymar as well um conte is one if we go look at uh flipping we see conte varan uh van dyko maybe not bombing but like players like pogba like de bruyne de bruyne's gonna be out of packs but maybe not on the first day so just look at these types of players mane the very very meta players that aren't too expensive sala because they will go down and they will rebound super fast um so yeah that is basically it for the video hopefully you guys did enjoy if you did and are new to the channel make sure to subscribe um i've been streaming live on twitch and that will be in the description down below uh yeah thank you guys for watching hope this video helped and i'll see you guys in the next one